So I was in the field last time, there was this random Korean guy who showed me like the Korean instant coffee. I'm sure they have this back in the States. But it's these little packs, and the packs tell you there's 50 calories per pack. It's like a mixture of like, ground coffee beans, um, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of creamer. But it's just super convenient because I don't have a coffee maker here. Dear First Lieutenant Nicholas Bear, congratulations on your selection to captain on the fiscal year 2016 Captain's Army Competitive Category Promotion Selection Board. This selection reflects the Army's trust and confidence in you as a leader, a soldier, and an infantryman. So if you guys follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, uh, I told you guys this week that I made the Captain's Board for 2016. So I'm your group 2013. That's when I commissioned. If I were to stay in the Army, which I'm not, I have like seven months left on my active duty contract, I would get pinned Captain, but I'm probably not going to get pinned before I get out. But the fact that I got a letter that says you made the Captain's Promotion Selection Board, it's still pretty cool. All right, so today, kind of in celebration of my promotable status, and then Joel got promoted to first lieutenant yesterday, so he's been a butter bar since he got here. We're in ETA one right now, trying to find this smokehouse called Manimal, which has gotten like really good, crazy reviews online. All right, so I'll also do the two meat platter. Can I get the pulled pork and then the chicken? And then for the regular side, you got the potato salad. I'll get the coleslaw. And then for the special side, the grilled Parmesan broccoli, please. Thank you. All right, so what we ended up getting, we got pulled pork, sausage, uh, their mac and cheese, potatoes, bread, and then I got cornbread. I had to try the cornbread. I absolutely love cornbread. Uh, pulled pork, the chicken, and then I also got some broccoli, rolls, and coleslaw. So we ate absolutely everything, every piece of food. <laughs> Let's go. All right, because Joel continues to bring this up about my nose not being straight, here's the reason why. When I was younger, uh, I was probably like 10 years old, my brother was 7 years old. We lived on this house and there was a dead end. It was perfect for like street hockey and tennis and like any kind of sport you could think of. And this one time my brother was playing tennis and he went on a backswing and I was behind him and he hit me directly in the nose and it broke it and ever since it just hasn't been straight. The Olympic Stadium is right there. So Joel and I have attempted to get into the Olympic Stadium once before, but we've never gotten this far. So knock that one off the bucket list. We made it into the Seoul Olympic Stadium. I think there was like a concert or something last night because this place is absolutely trashed. I'm really surprised no, one, no one's asked what two Americans are doing standing in the middle of a field in the Olympic Stadium. All right, so you guys have probably noticed in the most recent videos a lot of these white t-shirts. These are literally, literally, everyone's been asking where I've been getting them. They're just Hanes undershirts from like the PX or Walmart. I've been wearing them though because it's so hot here that when we come to the city, I, I just sweat so much. Like Joel right now, he's wearing a red shirt and he has sweat marks all over it. If I wear white, no one can tell. So we're waiting for a cab right now, but I figured I would touch on why I'm getting out of the military in the first place because in the beginning of the video, I brought up now that I'm promotable, I'm getting out. And I know the question's gonna come up, why am I getting out? If I'm ready to move on to that next position, that next rank, make more money, go and do a different thing. And here's my reason behind it. I have 100% enjoyed everything I've done in the military so far, the places I've gone, the people I've worked with, the positions I've held. I'm completely appreciative of everything I've done since being in the military, in the army, being a platoon leader in the infantry. It's been a great experience, a great learning experience. But there's so many other things that I wanna do in my life, especially while I'm young, and I see opportunities and I wanna take advantage of these opportunities. Like my business is doing well, I wanna open up this gym in Austin, and staying in the military in this next rank, this next position of being a company commander, it would really limit me or hold me back from doing these other opportunities or taking advantage of them. To tell you the truth, like years from now, 
I expect to be doing something completely different. I don't know what that is at this point. I'm sure I'll pick up new hobbies and, and learn new things as I go. But there's a lot of different things that I want to do. And I see this as a good advantage in time to do that. So the cab driver brought us to the baby pool. Or the kiddie pool. I can't swim here. Also just realized I no longer have my phone or know where it's at. The thing is though, if someone picks it up, they don't speak English. It's true. So what am I going to say? Stay. Hello. No way. Hello? Are you at a pool? Can you meet us at the pool? Taxi. Taxi. So, can you meet us at the pool? Hold on, this might be the taxi driver right here. So, the taxi driver picked up the phone. We can't communicate with the taxi driver because they don't speak English. And I can't find anyone that speaks English right now. The in three minutes, uh, 30 minutes in English. She'll be here? Yes. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. You need some ice cream, man. You're, <laughs> you're a little sweaty right now. I really hope this vlog is a happy ending. Because if I don't find my phone, I have no internet. Because I use it as a personal hotspot. So I can't upload the vlog. I really hope this lady shows up. Oh my gosh, you saved my life. Thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. So we have successfully acquired the phone. And God, we're heading back to Camp Casey right now. Thank you. Come sum me down. Come on, 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 heavy compound movements in there. But what you're seeing right now is my warm up for what I do before any movements with upper body. Uh, in the past, I've had problems with my shoulders. So I really take the time before working out to get my shoulders loose because the shoulder is such a complex joint. I mean, if you think about it, it's just like, think of a, a golf ball sitting in a joint with a bunch of ligaments and tendons attached. It's very easy to damage and uh, to injure. So taking the time before working out to, to warm up and prevent any injury can just save you so much hassle in the long run. Uh, with today's workout, everything is eight to 15 reps, except for barbell overhead press. I typically stay like five to 10 reps or as many reps as possible on the weight that I'm using. Now going into these workouts, there's no like specific exercises I do on these days. I mix it up really just what I'm feeling, uh, what I wanna do, and I try to incorporate a lot of different variation. Now, the exercise you're about to see here, the upright row, this is something I've built back into my programming the last couple weeks, absolutely loving it. The only thing I do differently though, is I use a pretty wide grip. In the past, I've done it where I've kept my, my hands pretty narrow, and it's put a lot of pressure on my wrists and my forearms, and it's been painful. But if you keep your, your grip really wide, uh, you can really target your shoulders, your rear delts, and then I'll superset it with some behind the head pull-ups that you can usually get between five and eight reps. Uh, so this workout, everything you're seeing is eight to 15 reps, like I said, and then going into arms, just a little bit of extra volume, two or three exercises for biceps, and then two or three for triceps as well. What I really wanted to give you guys an update on though, is our gym progress. What's been going on, what you can expect. Uh, if you guys are subscribed to my brother's channel, which I'll link below, he's kind of going through the process right now of finding locations down in Texas and we've narrowed it down to north of Austin. So we're looking at Round Rock specifically right now, and he has found one location that we're almost sure, I'd say like 90% sure we're gonna choose. Uh, it's zoned industrial, which is what we're looking for. It's within our price range, a little higher than we were expecting. It's 6,500 square feet, 25% office, and then 75% warehouse. But it's, it's crazy that we're so close and moving throughout the process so fast. So he got down to Texas a month ago and already he's just on top of it, finding locations, talking to brokers and realtors so that when I get back to Texas, we can move in right away and start distributing the supplements out of there, open the gym up. Like I said, no later than March of 2017. 
Um, but following his journey and talking to him, I've put full trust into him to find a location. And now that we finally found one that we think we're going to use, it's that much closer to opening the gym, guys. All right, so post-workout is just one chicken, cheese, and then grilled pepper and onion quesadilla, and then three pieces of just corn on the cob, sweet corn. This is typically like a summer tradition almost every night back when I'm home in Texas or Pennsylvania. It's huge. Like growing up, my uh, grandpa grew up on a farm, so we ate like fresh sweet corn all the time, and then I'll just top it with some spray butter and sea salt. All right, guys, so that's the video. I hope you enjoyed this one. I wanted to get more stuff up this weekend, uh, but we ended up working yesterday. So today was our, like really our only day off to go and explore, get some filming done, kind of just do our own thing. So this uh, this time in Korea is wrapping up here soon. I've been getting a lot of questions on that. I should be home October time frame ish. Don't really have an exact date yet. Um, October November time frame. So when I get home, uploads will be more frequently. I don't think I'll ever get to the point where I'm. I'm vlogging on a daily basis because I like keeping the content very fresh and exciting and new. Uh, I'm just not to the point yet where I can film every day and, and upload a video. Maybe at some point in the, in the future, but I will talk to you guys in the next video.